So, apparently I'm contractually obligated to play a fighting game. Uh, so, l let's go with Yi Ar Kung Fu. I have no idea how you pronounce this game. Uh, so, uh, we start by that fighting Bishu. Oh, this is going to be a fun game. Just... Uh... Okay, so immediately I notice that you jump like you're on the goddamn moon. Let's see. A punches the crotch. Yeah. Okay, I, I... I'm going to be honest, I have no fucking clue at what I'm doing. Uh... Oh... This is a martial arts tournament. You're not allowed to throw shurikens in a in a fucking tournament. You press up to jump, which is always nice. The controls are a little uh eh. I you cannot stop Moon Man. The problem with jumping is that when you jump, you go all the way across the fucking screen. Guaranteed. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fourth place. Yeah, just... Okay, so boot... boot... Just keep kicking boot you. All right, so uh, is this a fighting game? I guess maybe I don't know. Is ah ah I I the only way for me to jump over her stars is to go to the other side of the fucking screen. I mean, you can walk, but to jump over them... <sighs> Yay! I want to try and beat all three of these guys. Buchu is stupid. Oh yeah, I can soar through the air. Boop. I guess this is before they figured out that fighting games are only really fun if you play with two or more people. Well, two people. Or, yeah, two or more people. Not many people I know play fighting games single player. And this as far as I understand, does not have a two-player mode. I have played fighting games. They're, they're not my favorite, but uh, this seems to be relatively mediocre. You know, if this is not the fucking star throwing stars at me. Alright, let's concentrate here. Like, I have no idea what the fuck the arrow <laughs> is for, like... <laughs> like, I don't know why that's there. It reminded me what button I pressed. There we go. Ah, oh, cool. Perfect. High score! Nuncha! Oh, this is going to be fun. You know, Mr. Martial Art Afro Man, it might be wise to actually uh, le uh, bring a fucking weapon. I get you think you're like Bruce Lee or something, but this... okay, can, can, can anyone tell what the fuck is going on here? I mean, I'll give it one thing. This game is just comical. Uh, 
Oh, I get another chance against Nunchuck. Come on, come on. Eh! I am Moon Man. Okay, walking walking forward is a stupid idea in this game. He keeps his distance. That's the problem because he has a fucking weapon. What kind of fight is this? But yeah, as a fighting game, it doesn't have anything like weapons or anything like that. I have no idea what pull and fetal are. I'm guessing that they're uh, new opponents. Ah, I'm not losing to Bo Buchu here. Okay, star. Also, this typical martial arts music is getting kind of old. The hit detection is very weird in this game, like... I miss sometimes, and I have no idea why I miss. Yes. Also, I have no idea why I had an extra life against Nunja. Very creative names, by the way. Star for the enemy who throws stars at you. Nunja for the guy who has nunchucks. Yeah, why am I losing now? Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not an expert at fighting games by any means. But I, I guess we need to start anywhere. Uh, from what I can tell, no, this isn't the first fighting game that's ever been made. Come on. Just jump over. Don't go forward. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick. Yeah. Yeah, that star there probably should have hit me. Yeah, the second star she throws is unavoidable unless you want to jump to the other side of the fucking screen. If she's in the center there, uh, good luck getting to her. Come on, Buchu. Yeah. So this is probably going to be another no. Just putting it out there. I mean, it's not as shameless as some of the ones I played last time. <laughs> like Gorf, but... Eh. It's really just mediocre. Like, when it comes to the 1980s, especially the early 80s, it seems like they just put in every single game that came out. Or at least every single arcade game that they came, that came out. Which, I mean, I, I guess it gives a decent perspective of how things were developing back then, but... This has not convinced me in any way whatsoever that it's a must-play. Especially because Nunchut is... I have no idea how to beat Nunchut. I, I really do not. I mean, I 
occasionally get a hit on him. But with one fell swoop to the crotch, uh, Oolong is down. Okay, I guess you automatically get an extra try against Nuncha. Because they knew he was uh, cheap. Come on. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, cool, I got that. Like, what the fuck just happened? Alright, so fly to the other screen. Fly to the other side. Okay, I think that's how you do it. This game just looks ridiculous. Fighting games are, are a genre that don't age very well, from what I can tell. I mean, some of them are timeless, like Tekken 3 or Street Fighter 2. Uh, but other times you get games that just... There, there's no reason to play today, like the original Super Smash Brothers. I mean, it's not the genre that ages the poorest fighting game, or... First-person shooters age much, much poorer. But fighting games clearly are, are not timeless. Ah, too soon. Come on, Star. Come on. Also, it's the same music and the same background every single time. I, I get that it's a an 80s game, uh... And that was kind of the deal. Like, I mean... Considering... The other arcade games I played. Okay. Nuncha, the cheap-ass idiot. Or, I guess, Oolong is the idiot. Because he's, he's the kind of guy who literally brings a knife to a gunfight. Actually, no, he, he doesn't think he even needs the fucking knife. Like, I don't know why I'm not hitting or why sometimes I am hitting. I get that he's doing some weird blocking shit. This time I, I don't get an extra life? That's nice. Do -do 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 -do. It's the most stereotypical martial arts riff in history. I mean, the people at the very least look dynamic enough, I guess. center.
<sighs> Nuncha. Did he just talk? Okay, I think the goal here is to just keep ducking. Yeah. Okay, you, you just duck. It's Paul. Your parents... Were your parents, like, psychic or some shit? Oh, jeez. He, he does a beatdown. My god. Okay! Do not use the nuncha strategy on pole! That's another thing, like, it seems if you use the same commands on each of the opponents, you're going to have the same effect. Like, I'm pretty sure doing what I did will beat Nuncha every single time. Which makes it more of a puzzle game than a uh, fighting game. And now we fight Fetal! Two Fetals! Uh, ah! Attack of the Clones! Get away from me! Okay, I, I got through the first group. Uh, oh, new background. Ah, chain. <laughs> My God. Ay ay ay. Why don't I get a second tr why do I get a second try sometimes, but not other times? Uh, I think we're done here. This is a no. It's not a bad game, it's just there, there's really no reason to play it. Especially any longer than I already have.